hi everyone this video is about exporting your uh, videos from unreal so right now i'm using an example of an uh, dmx uh, workflow you can follow the same method for your environmental design or any other uh, aspects of unreal which you would like to export there are several methods available for you but today i am going to illustrate you the method which i've been using recently so let's get started so before we begin let's say we want to render out three different camera angles of the scene so we would begin by creating three cameras so go to place actor cinematic cine camera actor let's stop the sequence and uh, let's create the first camera the second and the third let's give the name Let's name this camera as Cam One, the second one as Cam Two, and the third one as Cam Three. Okay. So we have the three cameras, and now let's begin by creating a level sequence. So level sequence are nothing but uh, imagine like it's like a shot. So we are going to uh, create three different shot, and then we are going to uh, put it all together and render out the video. This is the uh, procedure which you have to follow in Unreal. So let's create the first shot, which is the first level sequence. Click on cinematics, add level sequence. And the moment you click on level sequence, it is asking you where would you like to save it and the name of it. So let's give it as DMX one out, and I'm going to save this in content. Save. We will have a window like this, and now let's drag the first camera to the level sequencer. Okay. And the moment you drag and drop it, first thing you need to decide the duration of your animation. In my case, I would want the animation to be 120 frames. So the red uh, line which you see there, that marks your end point. While the uh, green uh, line is on uh, number zero, so you can ignore that. So the end point is what you need to be concerned about and drag it to the 120 frame. So that's my duration, I fixed my duration. And now let's decide the uh, animation. How would you want the first camera angle to be? This would be my first shot with slightly uh, tilted. Let me go back a little bit. Slightly tilt this. And, uh, yes. And I would go with this shot. This would be my first shot. So let me fix this. And before you animate, stay on the uh, first frame and go all the way down. Put a key on the transform, toggle the key and uh, go to the end frame and now move the camera all the way to the right wherever you want the animation to stop and once you're happy click on the transform again that's about your uh, first shot so let's preview the animation um, scrubbing through the uh, timeline using my mouse and as i do you, you can see the animation has been set and the moment is registered okay that's about our first sequence which is our first shot let's close this off let's create one more sequence cinematics add level sequence and let's give this name as dmx2 out or same as before to the content folder and this time let's drag in the uh, cam2 sequence and now this time i would like to have a different animation so let me uh, okay let's let's do this okay let's have a moment like this so as if it's going up and seeing the uh, matrix okay so let's stay down and same as before before you start fix your duration 120 is my duration that is fixed and um, stay on the first the zero the zero frame and turn on the uh, transform key go all the way to the end frame and now select the uh, second camera and give a moment as you desire so I'm choosing something like this that would be my animation for the second camera and do not forget to toggle the key again okay that is there and uh, let's check that okay the second shot is also ready let's close this off now let's do the uh, third camera let's create a sequence one more sequence level sequence and let's give the name as DMX3 out and save the progress and let's drag the third camera to the sequencer 
one more time let's lock the duration of the shot which is 120 and uh, go to the first frame and this time let's see the camera angle let me try something different okay let me have a moment like this so this will be my moment okay so i'm keeping in the first frame and let's turn on the key for transform go all the way to 120 and uh, let's move the transform let's and then put a key one more time let's preview the animation and here it is we have the camera moment okay the third sequence the third camera angle is also ready let's close this off now upon creating these sequences we have to create a master sequence which will put all these sequences together and output as a video so one more time cinematics add master sequence in this it's asking you for a name i'm giving the name as dmx final out as you see on the screen and it is going to the content folder and i'm not changing anything here I'm just clicking on create master sequence it says it's already there so let me give a yes on that I'm replacing that okay the master sequence is in the moment uh, the sequence is ready select this and delete this off okay and click on this plus symbol choose dmx1 which is your first clip plus symbol again dmx2 plus symbol again and dmx3 okay so we have all the three sequence which we created uh, let's arrange them one after the other so the first should be your dmx1 2 3 or in any order which you like this will be the flow of the uh, video and do not forget to mark the end point otherwise what happen it will the video will get rendered past this 360th frame so i want the animation to end by 360 so make sure to lock bring the red line all the way to 360 so 0 to 360 is your uh, uh, duration of the video okay once this is set we are good to go we are going to output the video you need to click on this icon and the moment you click it will ask you for the file type it's uh, avi and let's uh, output it to full hd and uh, i'm saving it to my desktop dmx and select folder and let's click on capture movie save the progress once this is complete you will have a completion message let's wait for this to get over so we have the uh, capture finished message that indicates the video is ready let's close this off save it and uh, let's check our uh, video output so our first shot and the second and the third so here it is and this is the procedure to export your video from unreal Hope this was useful. See you soon again on the next Unreal Engines tutorial video. Thank you.